Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Verizon 5G home internet faster. But before we start, hurry up and check out these software just on this video. Let's get started. So if you want to make your internet faster here, if you have a Verizon 5G home internet, well, there are a few things that you may want to do. So first is you may want to start with updates. Now, before moving things around, you want to open the My Verizon app and check for firmware updates on your gateway. So these updates often fix bugs and improve performance. So it's an easy first step here that sometimes is overlooked. Next is you may want to choose the best Wi-Fi band here. Now most Verizon 5G gateways broadcast both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz signals. Now the 5 GHz band is the faster option here. Perfect for streaming and gaming, though it works best when you're nearby. Now, if you're quite far here, or if you don't, or if your device uh, needs older, or if you have older devices here, you may want to use the 2.4 gigahertz. Because so the 2.4 gigahertz here actually supports uh, longer, or it has a longer band. So meaning, uh, basically, uh, you can connect or have a more stable interconnection. So if you're farther away, use the 2.4 gigahertz band or uh, connection. Or if you're just near uh, in your Wi-Fi, uh, you just use the 5 gigahertz here. Now, again, depending on the situation here, if you're near, 5 gigahertz. If you're far, 2.4. Now, also, you may want to improve the placement of the gateway. Now, this is easily overlooked here, so you may want to look where the router sits. Now, keep it near a window or higher up in your home, so with a few walls or metal uh, objects around it as possible. So, a fewer walls, fewer objects around it, much better. So, a clear path to the nearest uh, tower gives you a stronger signal. Now, if, speeds, uh, or if the speed still seems low here, try different spots until you find the one that works best for you. Now, by the way, Interconnectivity slows down if there are like walls, concrete walls here, or even like if you have your interconnectivity in between, or if you have like a microwave in between your interconnectivity, that could also slow down your interconnection. So keep that in mind. Now, also, you may want to strengthen weak areas here. Now, if some uh, if some rooms here feel like dead zones, add a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh system. Now, this spreads the signal evenly across your home so you don't have to worry about slower feeds uh, the farther you move from the router. And finally, if you're gaming, working, or even like streaming on devices that stays in one, sp in one place here, you may want to skip the Wi-Fi and plug them in with a CAT6 Ethernet cable or an Ethernet cable here. Now, a wired connection removes lag and keeps speeds consistent, which Wi-Fi can't always guarantee. And that's about it. So if you're on this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.